A powerful woman, a mother, a teacher, a writer, a woman's right activist and a political leader. She fought for Turkish women. Despite all the obstacles, she never strayed from her path. Her name is Nezihem Wakeman and this is her story. Thanks to her spare education, Nezihem read stories from acclaimed authors, collected magazines in different languages. From early on, she developed an intellectually flourished mind. One day, while young Nizi Hay is in French class with her private tutor, she witnesses an unpleasant event. She looks at her neighbor's open window, a girl and her mother arguing. Mother nags the girl about her duties. She takes the book and instead gives the girl an embroidery hoop. Nizi Hay is shocked. She couldn't do anything. Not even a word came out of her mouth. She felt so powerless. Yet little did she know, she and her colleagues would ignite the fire of a powerful struggle. Years passed. Nizia worked as a teacher in schools and also served as a school principal. She introduced new subjects to curriculum and inspired young minds. She knew something more needed to be done. Looks like you're writing again. Immersed in your notes? Is there something bothering you, my dear? I want to get rid of the oppression imposed on us because we, women, should be able to decide for ourselves. I see. What do you intend to do, dear Nizhe? Have you seen the papers? We are gathering a women's council. Would you care to join? Of course, I would love to. Before the establishment of the women's party, a women's council is gathered. Dear colleagues, we have been working tirelessly to educate our young generation of men and women. I want to be honest with you. This is not enough. We have to continue fighting for our future in political life too. What a great idea! Because men in politics make all the decisions for us, we must have say in the decisions. Now our biggest goal is to earn the right to vote and be elected. I am in favor of establishing the Women's People's Party. Are you with me? Yes! Are you with me? Yes! Then, God willing, we will establish our party tomorrow. Today we are officially establishing the Women's People's Party. The charter of the Women's People's Party was sent to the governor's office. After a while, it was announced in the newspaper that the announcement of the decision was postponed. The Ministry of Internal Affairs delayed the response regarding the establishment of the Women's People's Party. But why? Why was the decision postponed? Some of the clauses in the charter were opposed. Let me guess. Conservatives in the parliament? Yes, conservatives. They said because women do not serve in the military, they cannot vote. Nonsense! How can they ignore women? In the Balkan Wars, in the national struggle, we even carried heavy bullets for miles. After waiting eight months, their application is rejected with the following statement. Women who have not yet received their political rights are not allowed to establish a political party. Women made some changes in the charter. Now, the name of the party is Turkish Women's Union. A week later, the governor's office approved the existence of the Women's Union and accepted the regulation. My dear Nezeha, I am proud of how far we have come in three years. Thanks to our righteous struggle, we now have nearly 600 members in 15 provinces. Thanks to the Republican regime, we will be celebrating our right to vote and the right to be elected very soon. Elections are approaching, but we cannot nominate a woman candidate. I propose Mr. Kenan, a lawyer representing our union. We are candidate for the Republican People's Party. Supporting women makes me proud. I will be more than happy to be deputy on your behalf. Kenan Bey's nomination had a wide impact in the press. However, Kenan Bey had to resign after many mockeries and criticism in various newspapers. Here is one of the caricatures. Oh, your hair is short and you're smoking a cigarette? What else is left to resemble a man? Wearing a suit and becoming a member of the parliament. As if mocking me wasn't enough. They made caricatures about women claiming women are not qualified for this job. What utter disrespect. I can't imagine how upset Nezeh and the others will be when they see this. Aren't we going to oppose these attributions in our magazine by publishing an article? But these caricatures had such a sensational effect. So how about you respond with caricatures too? Yes, you're right. Since they attacked us in this way, let's retaliate. One day, in the absence of Nezihim Wipin, the police raised the Turkish Women's Union officers, eventually sealing the whole building without giving any reason. 
What's going on? Why'd they seal the whole building? I asked the government's office, but they didn't explain. They just said it will be announced later. As I heard from an insider, the police found a 500 lira promissory note in the union safe with Nezia's name on it. I'm afraid Nezia will be accused of using union's resources for personal expenditure. Alright, they're accusing Nezia here with the allegation of embezzlement, but that shouldn't affect the women's union. Why should our union be closed because of some unproven allegation? Exactly! And since the allegations are about Nezia, why will they punish everyone? Yes, our union should remain active no matter what. Nezihe has dealt with countless cases of charges over the course of two years. Finally, thanks to the MZ law, the charges were dropped, but her innocence was never proven. As I have told you before, the days we attain our political rights are near. Yes, we have been through and are going through struggles, but we will not stand by and accept their decisions about us, because we will not let them determine our fate. Alright dear, but tell me what exactly are you planning to do? I will apply to the Republican People's Party. Unfortunately, the answer for her application was delayed under the pretext of bureaucratic reasons. Her application was never approved. Year 1934, Republican People's Party Board. Have you seen the papers? President Atatürk conveyed his gratitude to the Women's Union. There is no doubt that virtuous Turkish women will confidently fulfill their part in social life. After the Congress held in 1935, the women decided that they achieved their purpose and the Union was officially shut down. In the next period of her life, Nezihe focused more on her literary life and produced many literary works, articles, novels, stories she wrote, and issues of the Turkish Women's Path magazine she published with her colleagues. Despite all the efforts to render their struggle invisible, Nezihe and her colleagues managed to inspire contemporary women. I have lived my life with great enthusiasm in every way. Social and political rights we have attained bear us obligations. I hope that with these obligations in mind, Turkish women will do their best to contribute to society in every field. This will bring women's status to a higher level and let every member of the society live and work together in solidarity and harmony. Oh, heroic Turkish women, do not crawl on the ground because you deserve to be carried on our shoulders and rise to the sky. sonlarında e, İzmir'e davet edilmiştir. Burca'daki e, Kız Hilal Sultaniyesi'ne müdür olarak. Yani sizin semtinizde e, bir ilk defa kurulmuş olan bir lisede, modern eğitim yapan bir lisede müdür ve öğretmen olarak bulunmuştur. Biraz daha ilginç bir tarafı da e, bu sırada Öğrencilerinin arasında 1923'te Mustafa Kemal Atatürk'le evlenecek olan Latifi Uşakizade de onun talebeleri arasındadır. Yani e, bu pek bilinen bir şey değil.